I think today I think today's a better day to do it than than yesterday. Yesterday I think I was going. Or yesterday I think I was coming down with a straight up crisis. To to be honest, uh, I, I was hanging out with my mom yesterday. But I guess nice. I should probably tell the viewers and give them the proper introduction. Be all, hey viewers, it's me, Gild. I'm here to talk about life thoughts and whatever. I brought a guest. Please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm all flame. I guess we started recording back there. Yeah. Uh, ju just a little tidbit, you know? Ju just a smidget. It's all good. We're, we're like 40 seconds in, you know? It's, it's all good. Oh, no. That's like more than 30. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> well, that's what I do. I just bring you along. Hold you're on, like, kill them, kill them. You gotta em. stop recording. You gotta stop recording. I gotta go do my makeup. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna pull off something from Rick and Morty, like right here and now, but, you know, it. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, so, stuff. Alflame's a bit uh, tired. Just I'm, overworked, I'm lethar tired. I'm lethargic because they added they added uh, thirteen and a half hours to my weekly hourly workload. Yeah, they're I'm like overworked. they're like Owl Flame Pro. Listen, we know you work hard, but uh, we're gonna need you to come in on Saturday. So if you could do that, that'd be great. I already come in on Saturdays. Son of a bitch. I work every other weekend. Jesus Christ, man! Do you work this weekend? No. I do work this weekend. Jesus Christ, how are we going to do that then? How, how are we going to do our little project that we were talking about, which I am... No, 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 no. Let me explain. I work eight-hour shifts four days a week, and then I work three-and-a-half-hour shifts on the weekend. So I have plenty of time to sleep the fuck uh, in on uh, Sunday. Okay. Right. Go in for the easy. Go in for the easiest shift so, ever, and so then we Sunday, can do the thing. So Sunday's going to be perfectly fine. You're, you're gonna Sunday, be Sunday's you're gonna perfectly fine. You're going to be like, killed him, man. Listen, let's do this, bitch. Okay, straight up rotisserie style. It's, it's like cool. I love the four. I I love the three and a half hour shift because it's like a regular shift, only it's not, and I don't have to do anything. Okay, all right. Sorry, man. I I just like I I didn't. I know you said that you were gonna like take today off, and I was like, okay, it's gonna get wild. It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna be great. Uh, and then and then. It, all of a sudden, it's like no, this. Ab I didn't mean. No, no, I didn't it's mean not your to fault. Be this tired. It's not your fault. I, I want. I, I should probably clarify. Uh, something happened before, like you got in touch with me. Uh, you see, Gildum Gildum has this weird situation where he got drunk, uh, messed around on a dating profile, and now he's dating someone. Sort of, uh, pretty unofficial, but kind kind of like going towards the towards the whole like official side of things so you know things are happening I'm, I'm getting some female interaction and uh she she kind of messaged me today about like the last message saying like i wasn't i didn't sound that interested and i was like starting to panic like there, there was like this stake being driven into my heart being like no she got the wrong impression because uh you know, like, we were talking about getting food tomorrow, and uh, I guess I worded it in a way that didn't sound like I was interested when really I was saying, like, because it was on Monday, uh, it was a little early to plan when to eat on Friday. Oh, no. We bitches want that way in advance. Uh, I, no, well, she took it like a whole different meaning. I was like, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. Please don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me again. <laughs> and, and, and I don't so, know who this is. Uh, but uh, you know, I managed to I managed to clarify things. Uh, apparently, everything went in a one eighty direction, and so now that's still on. Food is still on tomorrow, so uh, nice. it should be good. Should be good. I'm happy. I avoided a really dreary part today because uh, it almost didn't happen. If it wouldn't, I've been like, oh, hey, Owl Flame, um, you're tired. Hey, I, I'm like, I'm kind of suffering I'm, a minor You're heartbreak. tired. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm suffering some minor depression, you know, uh, female issues. Nah, I hear you, dude. But that didn't happen, so uh, so it's you, all good. You go, you go get her to notice you, dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I gotta I got make Senpai notice me or something, because, uh, how else is it gonna happen, right? Can it even happen? I, I don't that know, that, that's the you? real question. Can it even happen? Will it mix? 
You know, no. it, 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 you're just going to have to go to dinner with her. It is love even in the cards for Gildam because, you know, hopeless romantic and things don't really happen. But she's pretty chill, so it, it's definitely kind of appealing on a lot of standpoints. You know, she, she's really laid back, really chill, likes to relax. Um, is into Game of Thrones, and I haven't watched Game of Ooh. Thrones. But here's the bonus <laughs> oh. to it. Uh, I like The Walking Dead. She hasn't seen it, so we're talking about doing some sort of exchange. I think yeah. it'll be good, you know. Uh, anyways, you get all that Walking Dead inside of you. <laughs> well, zombies, bro. Zombies, bro. Zombies, bro. Uh, anyways, so you know that that was my perspective. It, it was like a crisis averted. You you're tired, but you know that's okay. We can always plan this again i didn't want to feel like you know you were obligated to do this i mean i know it may have come off that way but really the truth is uh if you said that you couldn't i would have been like that that's cool that's cool you know we'll, we'll just plan it for some time else you know i got i got weekends if you're ever like available some weekend assuming i don't get like uh assuming that time doesn't get taken up like saturday's taken up that's fine. No, I, uh, I, I can still like do stuff today. I, I just. You, you sound like you're on your last leg. If, if this was a triathlon, I'm, I'm you're, developing you're... bags under my eyes again, which usually means I'm both not getting enough sleep and using up too much energy during the day. Which is understandable. I mean, it happens to the best of us. I went to work. I went to work on Wednesday, and all the employees were looking at me like. Hey, Daniel, how come you haven't said a damn thing in the last two hours? And just like, two hours have passed? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I mean, I've had days like that. Uh, last week, for instance, I went to work. And, uh, yeah, straight up, like, I hadn't gone to sleep that, like, all, at all the previous night. Or, I guess, day, because, you know, I have a very awkward sleeping schedule where I'm up during the evenings and asleep during the day. Anyways, uh, I, I was dead tired, and it was it was a very yeah you know so I, I can I can relate, uh, and, and people I don't know people like to talk to me it's, it's weird, I'm not exactly popular but people like talking to me, go figure yeah it's it's weird I mean I can't I can't think of a single person you might know who who would like to talk to you I, none. <laughs> but I mean like same situation for you you know they're they're like going up to you it's like. Yo, bro, you haven't said anything. You haven't said a damn thing. I'm really talkative at work. I don't say a thing at home when I go to work and I just start talking to people because it's fun. Yeah, and I mean, like, same situation. People like talking to you, or, you know, you're talkative, so when you don't do something out of the norm, everyone just takes notice. It's like, bro, this, this is weird. Is something wrong? Is something wrong? And I'm just like, yeah, it's called a fucking tired, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's called sleep deprivation. Depri de I can't. I'm not pronounce. deprived of sleep. sleep de I fucking the last um Sunday night I went to bed at eleven. I woke up at nine. Uh, to Monday night did the same. Tuesday night did the same. Uh, but I woke up at, on Wednesday at like eight. Yeah. So I've been getting like at least nine hours of sleep a night. I've just been like fucking. I you don't know, know, sometimes I, I, we need more sleep. I can't. I can't yeah, explain I'm, it. I'm gonna try to get a lot tonight if I can help it. That's cool. Uh, I, I should probably mention I've been on vacation all this week, uh, which Ooh. I guess technically is last week. Uh, and, and when I was referring to the other week, uh, it was like two weeks ago. Because it's Sunday. This uh, thing I lost track Sunday. of all of that. that that's fine. It's I lost track of all of that in there. It, it's fine. Don't worry I, uh, about it. I, I, I'm, I was on vacation all this week, and by this week, I mean last week, and, and then something, something, well, by I'm that, I mean saying, two like, weeks ago. This gets, this gets posted on Sunday, so it's like uh, the... the the week that we just had. Oh, okay. I follow you. I follow yeah, you. Yeah. I understand. I, I have to. I have to coordinate with like when this gets posted, which is right. on Sundays. Right. Even though technically today it is Thursday. It is now Thursday. Yeah. And by Thursday, I mean Sunday. And by Sunday, I. And mean, by Sunday. I mean, me, Ross Black Dragon. <laughs> Somebody read my novel. <laughs> and by novel, I mean Breath of Fire. And by Breath of Fire, I mean Fire Emblem. 
Fucking Christ. Uh, <laughs> we watch too many YouTube videos. <laughs> I know. But we find great. and watch too many YouTube videos. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, I should probably mention something. Because speaking of YouTube, I did actually go to a concert and I saw Ninja Sex Party. And it was Ooh. amazing. Did you meet them? I did not meet them, you know, because I, I figured Danny Sex Bang. Let, let's be honest. He's, he's pretty popular. Yeah. And I'd I, still try to meet him. I, I would love to meet. Dude, that guy's my hero. I don't know if I've actually explained this. And I feel like now would be the time if I was going to explain this. Uh, a okay. couple years back, I went to counseling. Because I got really depressed about life. Uh, also, there was like this incident involving moving that kind of happened. And it, it kind of threw me over the edge. I was like getting super depressed. It, it wasn't good. And I was having trouble trying to cope with it. Tr having trouble trying to figure out how to deal with it. And, uh, you know, during these times, you kind of tend to like try to distract yourself. Look at YouTube videos whatnot. Go, go watch a meme or something. And so... I was watching Game Grumps, and it was uh, their Wind Waker LP that they were doing. Their their game oh. gameplay of the Wind Waker, and I remember there was this one episode during that that they got super real, where uh, Dan was just talking about like this time where he was dealing with a lot of issues, a lot of problems, and uh, he ended up going like seeking professional help. Yeah, because he he found out he had OCD. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was that one episode that really just kind of, like, it, it shed a couple things. It brought a couple things to light. It shed some light on some things. And uh, I don't remember exactly what he said, but I remember it was along the lines that you can talk to people, like your friends or your family, and they'll want to help you. But there's people that are trained to actually handle this that can offer better advice. Yeah. And, you know, that just kind of really spoke to me. And so I, I, I took I took that advice. I, I went with it and I, I got, I used my benefits that I got from work and I, I got that all situated and I actually started seeing a counselor to try to, you know, get everything situated. Uh, and, you know, I think it really helped. Like, not immediately because counseling kind of has a lot of steps to it and uh, there are times where I'm not really sure if I got anything accomplished, but I think in the long run, well, first, you know, first they gotta, first they gotta get a beat on you. Yeah, they so, don't want to say something that would have no help with for you. Yeah, I mean they, Doctor, they can try I, feel, to guess. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm depressed, and the, and then they're just like, well, I mean, we're moving pretty fast, so like, have you, have you tried cutting yourself? It's just like, well, well, I mean, no. Well, there you go then. <laughs> do, do you I'm pretty sure that's called moving too fast. Do you have suicidal thoughts? I don't like when they ask me that. Because if you say yes, they're obligated to report it to someone. Really? Yeah, if you're if you're a potential threat to yourself or others, ah, okay. um, they they can supposedly they can supposedly like call an ambulance. I guess. Which you. suddenly I'm just like I don't want in on this. I mean, I'm gonna deal with my own problems. I mean, I was I was pretty honest, you know. I, I wasn't really trying to hide anything. Uh, I think I think I said, you know, I have dark thoughts, but I don't really have any like thing in terms of like committing suicide. Yeah, I have very dark side fill thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No, dude. Uh, no. All right. I'm constantly playing games and thinking that it's the game's fault that I'm losing. Look. Okay, I, I I just have to say one thing about Dark Side Phil. Yeah. Uh, he's making more than Spoonie on Patreon. Fantastic. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. To be fair, he's shitting on less of his audience than Spoonie. To be Spoonie fair, Spoonie has spent like the last few months just being like, my audience is the worst. I, I and don't all I've know. ever seen Dark Side Phil do is thank his audience and shit on everyone who hates him. <laughs> and you know what? That's totally fine. I, I, I don't actually entirely have a problem with it. Uh, it. It's not even that. Okay, I got I got another thing. I, I lied. I have a second thing. Uh, I think Dark Side Phil actually does more like on his channel than Spoonie does. Well, then, yeah. Okay. He, he uploads like 40 billion videos a yeah. week. But my point is, at least he's a little more active than Spoonie. A little. Yeah. 
And, you know, not starting Flame Wars with that guy with the glasses. Is he? I, I don't know. You know what? Not important. Point is, uh, that. Anyways, so, yeah, the, the point I'm trying to make here is just, like, you know, like, ever since that one video, I was just, I've always kind of had this one, like, minor thought that it's like, man, you know, I, I, I wish I could actually personally thank Dan, if I ever got the chance, I would, but I, I don't think it will ever happen. But regardless, I've always kind of considered him my hero. Just one, just one of those realistic heroes that it's like, you know, he's 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 pretty amazing. I, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah, always nice to meet someone like that. Yeah, and I saw him in concert, and it was yeah. magical. It, it was magical. I'm not gonna lie. He, he was able to captivate his audience. You know, he was able to like interact with them, and it was like, man, he he is he is a great showman he is a great like singer and the showman he's able to interact with his audience it's 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 amazing yeah always always good always good to have someone like that in your life whether, yeah whether you talk to them personally or otherwise well i you know i, I guess you know I, I just got to watch him perform but at the same time you know it's, it's still more than i would ever expect to actually have in terms of uh I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, more than I would expect to actually get in a lifetime. I, I guess that makes sense. I'll go with that. Make of that what you will. Uh, on a side note, when I went to that concert, uh, the person opening for it was MC Chris. And I don't know if you know who that is. And if you don't, that's I fine. I do not. Well, basically... There, back in the day, back when Gildam was in high school, he used to watch a lot of Adult Swim, and he would watch shows like Sea Lab 2021 and uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah. And so, there's this guy who would sometimes voice act characters in those shows, and he was MC Chris. He, uh, he does rap. He's pretty much on the nerdcore side of things, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, I remember, like, in, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, he has this one song called I Want Candy. It's probably one of his more well-known songs. Anyways, he was opening for Ninja Sex Party, and it was, it was great. It was fantastic. He performed that song, and I was like, oh, man, if he does that, I can die happy. And he did, and I was like, oh, I can die happy. At least tonight, I can die happy, if that happens. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds like it was a good time. It was a great time. Uh, I had I had one of my old volunteer buddies. Uh, one of my old volunteer buddies like offered to to take me to the show, and so I was like, "Yeah, I'll go." Because he doesn't really know anyone who would want to do that. Like in his group of friends, he's just like, "No one I know really wants to do this." And I was like, "I'll do it. I'm down for that." Dude, give him give him pay. I'll pay you. <laughs> And so, yeah, like, uh, he took me to that, and it was great. And I also saw one of my co-workers while I was there. In fact, iron like, coincidentally, I would say ironically, but I don't think there's anything ironic. It's just one big coincidence. Uh, they were sitting in front of us. It, it was yeah. honestly one of those things where it's like, what are the chances... It was it was very similar to having a hundred spoons when all you need is a fork. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, when it rains on your wedding day. It's like a free ride when you've already paid. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate that song. <laughs> I so knew shit. you were going to bring it up. <laughs> Whenever we talk about ironic and coincidence, <laughs> irony and coincidence, uh, you have to bring up that song. It's like, if it's you and me, you have to bring up that song. <laughs> And you want to know what the real irony of that song is? Nothing in that song is ironic. It's just coincidental. It's so coincidental. It's like Ray. I it, fuck. I, irony is a weird is a weird thing to actually have happened to you in life. Yeah. Uh, I, I always try to I always try to like put it into terms because I I'm pretty sure I don't know the exact definition. But I keep telling myself, okay, if it's if it's more like directly from your own choices, that that's more along the lines of irony. Yeah. Versus like, dude, it's raining on your wedding day. How ironic! It's and just coincidental. Some bitch is just like, I'm gonna write a song about that, <laughs> and it's gonna be wrong. 
<laughs> it's gonna be incorrect. It's gonna be ironic that I wrote this song. How ironic? Yeah, maybe that's the in, that's maybe that's the maybe, meta joke. That that that's the inside joke. That that's her that's her uh, that's her greatest performance the, of irony. The joke is more ironic than a free ride when you've already paid. <laughs> I feel like we had to explain this sometime on this show. Fucking terrible song. Uh, anyways. So wait, when did you go to the concert? Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Okay. So we both we both had a we both had a fucking awesome day of our lives within the last week or so. Yeah. Oh man. It, it it's been my last two weeks have been pretty crazy. For multiple reasons. My last, my last two weeks have been full of work. I believe it. And also Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Which I hear is pretty good. You have a video on your channel talking about well, not really talking about it, but memeing it if I if I can use memes. Oh yeah, no, I I made I made one of those memes where you where you put pictures over anime characters' faces and rewrite the the words. Yeah. I worked really hard on that. I believe it. Because, I mean, move, moving images, it's a lot harder than it looks. And you'd think it'd be yeah, a pretty simple you just, you just ha- It's just a long process. It is. But, I you mean, that, that's there. where all the effort, t- like, comes from. It's just, like, you have to slowly move it from one place to another. And it has to be in sync with the background images. And, I mean, it, it's, it's fun. It's funny. But, like, your, your video is pretty long. So, I mean, that, that had to be more work than necessary. Yeah, you want to know. You want to know what show pro- did, was not made with the intention of you watching it frame by frame. Uh, what's that? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> I've never watched that, but I I knew that's uh, that's the anime that you used it from. Yeah, I I thought it was appropriate because at the time, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was having like terrible PR and everyone was hating on it. And dr- I, the Dragon Ball I Z fighting game came out. Tell me about this, yeah. Now it's out, and everyone's just hating on it because now it has really shitty DLC practices. What? Well, I mean, the game the game came out, and they've already shown that they have a finished DLC character. Yeah. Speaking of DLC, uh, I have nothing to add to that. Oh. But, I mean... Well, that... could, it, could, could I mention Saturday? Yeah, go for it. I went to I went to a big tournament on Saturday. Yeah, that's well, right. We were gonna talk about that. Go for it. I uh, I went to um I went to a big Massachusetts Marvel vs. Capcom tournament, and got to play against uh all the all, all, all not all but a fair number of the best players uh, the best fighting game players in in Massachusetts and New Hampshire. And I took second. I took second place. Damn. Making me one of the top players in the state. <laughs> well, don't let don't don't start becoming Dark Side Phil, but still that that is impressive. I no, mean... no, no. And like since Saturday, and, and I had a weird issue with this, but since Saturday, while I've been working, I got a, I've been getting up for work. I I eat breakfast. I make sure my clothes are clean, and then I come downstairs and I practice Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I go to work. I go. I'm, I go to work. I come home. I take a shower. I go back to playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite because now I want to practice. Because I won fifty seven dollars just for getting second place. Hey, there you go. So as long as you can keep getting top three, you can make actual money at these things. So uh, Alf- so I'm just so going to start so, working the circuit. Yeah, and then I had like I had a I had a weird issue on Saturday because I worked really hard and I had so much fun. But at the same time, when I the moment I lost, like the um, the guy who beat me by like a fucking hit, by the way, it was really close. He fucking got up out of his sc- uh, chair and just screamed at me. What? <laughs> he just fucking screamed at me, and I can show you the video if no, you're I interested. No, I believe it. it. Sounds like a dick. It, I don't. I don't know what he was so fucking mad about, but like I don't handle people screaming at me very well. Well, I don't think I anyone would. I shut down for the rest of the day. Aww. Because I, uh, I have a, I have a thing like a near PTSD level thing with people screaming at me, and that, that did not help, and it really fucked with me. And so, like, until yesterday, I've just been practicing my ass off for for Marvel, and I'm just like, I'm. 
I think I'm going through a depression of some sort or something because I feel like shit. Aww. And I asked and I asked my friend, and I'm just like, what? What's happening? Like I'm playing, I'm playing Marvel, but I'm not having any fun. I'm just thinking I don't want to lose again and get screamed at again. And my friend's just like, how about you take a break and go do the other thing you find fun, like speed running with with and talking to people. And I'm just like, is that why okay. you've been playing RE7 a lot? Yeah, uh, that's why I've been playing. That's why I played RE7 yesterday and today okay. because it's just like I need, I need something to do to take my mind off of like the prop, the thing, and it's you. been helping. It's been helping a lot, that's and like good. I'm not, I'm not as down as I was when I got home yesterday. Oh, uh, okay. Now, now it's all starting to, now every, all the pieces are starting to click. They're starting to come together. I'm starting to understand what's going on. I really enjoy speedrunning RE7. It's really fun. I have yet to play it, but I'm going to fix play that it. next month. It's super fun. I believe it. That reminds I, me. I won't, uh, I won't say anything about the game, but I will say it's fun to speedrun. All right. I, I got I got something on a minor note. And okay. I don't I don't want you to get get your hopes up. So uh don't don't think that this is like anything in the near future. I've been practicing right. RE3. Ooh, nice. Uh, because you and I have a possible project in the future. Uh -oh. the, the long future, though. Uh oh. Uh, because I know a while ago I was Guild like, of, what? Guild of Silent Hill Four has taken like forty years. Listen, uh, forty years. Listen, not important right now. We started okay? that billions of years <laughs> not ago. Not important. All right. Listen, I'm talking about RE3. That's what that's what okay. we got going on right now. Uh, so yeah, I started practicing right. RE3. Because I remember when I when I told you uh, I was doing like Resident Evil, uh, I don't even remember. It was one of the Resident Evils. I have a couple LPs going with that. Anyways, not the point. Point is, I was like, I do plan on doing RE3 at some point, and I remember discussing with you, and you're straight up were like, bring me on, bring me on board with that. Wait, RE3 is the Nemesis yeah. one, right? Yeah. I like Nemesis. Yeah, and, and you like it because of. Marvel vs. Capcom? Yeah. He's in Marvel vs. Capcom. He's in the new one. Yeah. He's back and, and he's stronger now. Him. He almost he he almost I dropped him so hard. <laughs> I don't I don't even play any of my old characters from MVC three, but that is entirely because none of them are back. That, that's and fair. I dropped Nemesis. <laughs> the one that actually got them that was there. The one that's the one I used to play who actually came back and I'm just like, I don't wanna play him. That that's fair, but yeah, it was just like uh, I, I, back back in the day. I forget which which what was going on, but I was playing like a Resident Evil, and you're just like, what what was the one that with Nemesis and can can we LP it? And I was like three, and it's like can we LP it? And it's like yeah, I, I plan to LP it at some point. And so when that happens, you'll be brown on board. I'm practicing for it, but let me tell you, it's it's not an easy process because straight up. The game tricks you. They they offer like a hard and easy mode, and the thing about that is easy mode is baby mode. Hard mode is actually your standard mode, the mode that like you know if you if you call yourself a gamer, you're gonna want to play that one. Okay. Yeah. So it's like straight up, I, I gotta play on hard. Like I feel like I oh wait, if I was gonna do a let's play, I'd have to do it on hard, but I gotta practice because uh, I mean RE Seven is your franchise, you'd know. Yeah. Well, I know a little I don't, bit. I don't know anything about this goddamn franchise. That, that, I'm just speedrunning RE7. That's fair. Uh, but the neat thing about RE3 is it actually takes you to a location in RE2, and it's... I wouldn't say it's, like, exact, but at the same time, like, you do revisit a location, so it's kind of like... Outflame, if you have any questions, you know, I'm gonna I'm say ask them, because, uh... I, I don't know. I, I don't think I can get you up to speed, but I can definitely try to answer something. When okay. we do it, so you know when that happens, we're gonna do it. But I think before that, we got a project in between. So uh, you know, 2025, uh, expect RE three or something. I don't really know. We might not even be close. <laughs> <laughs> Understand? There's a project. Get ready for us to finish Silent Hill four in 2019. Oh no, Silent Hill. Trust me, we're gonna finish that quick and fast. Uh, it's still in the mind works. It's still, it's we haven't forgotten. It's gonna get beaten, but we might be doing a project in between that and this. And uh, but but I'll tell you what, I'll make you a promise, viewers. 
I'll upload the rest of Silent Hill 4 before I upload like a, another project. Yeah, we'll 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 make sure not to not to. Uh, I'm trying to think of a let's player that has a bad habit of dropping let's plays. Like, well, I'm I'm saying we we won't cloud eight seven four five. Oh my god, is that guy even relevant? I have no doubt in my mind he is no longer relevant. I mean, I'm sure he's still on YouTube somewhere. I'm still I'm I'm sure he's still like doing a thing, but God help me, I don't know if he's still referencing himself as that name. Which is fine, you know that that guy. He does what he does. I have nothing that to that say. That was about the him. first Let's Player ever really got into watching. He was one of the first, you know. He was pretty early on on YouTube, if I remember correctly, because you know, I, I've been on the YouTubes ever since, like in the early days. Yeah, I don't do much on YouTube anymore. Uh, well, you do enough, but anyway, I, I do, do RE seven speed runs now. <laughs> But you haven't posted one, bro. I have. There's two on my channel. Are you serious? Yeah. How have I not get? A t oh my god, the YouTube notification thing is so stupid. I haven't even noticed. No. Every every time I do a run and I finish it, it goes straight on YouTube. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I'm I would. It, I'm I would doing check it through the new out. YouTube live streaming system. It's I'll very you, helpful. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm a. I'm a go thumbs those up, but I am not watching them. Uh, don't, don't. Don't actually go to them, and the only reason I'm saying that is because the thumbnails. One of the thumbnails is. Uh, hold on, I think I can check this. I think one of the thumbnails is accidentally uh, based on the end of the game. Well, I mean, I, I was just, I was just gonna I'm gonna take a look at this before you go click on anything. I was just gonna give you a thumbs up. I wasn't actually gonna like. Oh, never mind. They're both fine. Yeah. They're both from the start of the game. I, I was just gonna give you a thumbs up. I, that's all I was gonna do. I wasn't even gonna pay right, attention to anything. Yeah. Uh, I'll even I'll even like and, and favorite them, and then I'll and then I'll post no, uh, a comment. One of, one of my one of my one of my speed runs now is um in the top 150 in the world. Oh hey, there you go. Alflame's gonna then, go for number one. He's gonna bring you home the gold, baby. Check him out next time and, he does Resident Evil Fa Fantasy Seven. All right, I, I've also been streaming Dissidia. Yeah. On on my YouTube channel, I've been streaming on YouTube. Streaming see, on YouTube see, is you're fun. streaming a lot and. I think that's I think that's really good. You know, you're you're getting out there. You're doing you're doing enough. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like streaming. Streaming streaming is fun because unlike let's playing, you get to like communicate with people. Yeah. You know, I mean, I was streaming for a little bit, and I I really like that aspect. Uh, if I had better internet, I would totally be doing the streaming process also. So uh, I, I I can totally relate. Unfortunately, my PS... internet is not great for streaming. So uh, yeah, forget that. I hear you. Yeah. Anyways, I think we pretty much are good on time. Like we we did we did half an hour. Uh, I, I guess we'll just edit it off here. So next time uh, we can talk about more things. See you later, everyone.